In a few years, the online retailer's Amazon will open up a second headquarters in the United States. Based in Arlington County, Virginia, HQ2 will be an expansion to their other headquarters in Seattle, Washington. But HQ2 won't be another office building. In fact, there's going to be a number of interesting and eco-friendly features involved, such as the unique building called the Helix. Today, we're going to take an in-depth look into this multi-billion dollar project, from how the idea came to be, the costs along the way, how construction is progressing, and what the facility will contain. So, let's get started. The new headquarters for Jeff Bezos' company will be located in National Landing. This term was used for a new area that encompasses parts of the neighborhoods of Crystal City and Pentagon City in Arlington County. As such, HQ2 will be based right next to Washington. Virginia was officially announced as the site in 2018. Amazon has stated HQ2 will create 25,000 jobs over the next 10 years. They also stated the investment into the project will cost $2.5 billion altogether. One of the main sites in the multi-phased plan is the creation of Penn Place, which will be created alongside, like most of the project, real estate investment firm JBG Smith. Penn Place will take up 2.8 million square feet of office space within three 22-story buildings. That's around three and a half times bigger than London's Buckingham Palace at 830,000 square feet. However, Amazon originally planned to expand their office space to 6 million square feet over the course of the next decade. The buildings will be designed to be LEED Platinum. This is the highest classification handed out by the U.S. Green Building Council for Sustainable Buildings. Penn Place was designed with architectural firm NBBJ. They plan to have each office building running on 100% renewable energy. The energy will be coming from a solar farm within Pittsylvania County in Southern Virginia, while the plants in Penn Place will be watered via rainwater runoff. Penn Place will contain more than two and a half acres of open space that the public can also enjoy. As such, an amphitheater will be created on site. Facing essential green, the area could be a space for outdoor live music. There's also a dedicated space for a farmer's market to set up within, as well as an area for an outdoor cinema. For those hotter days, Penn Place will have a forest grove to shelter within the shade. The area is also set to have restaurants, retail space, daycare, and a dog park available. In September 2020, Amazon further expanded the site for Penn Place by splashing out $148.5 million for the Residence Inn, which was operated by the hotel chain Marriott. On top of the building, they also received the 1.5-acre surrounding land. With that, Amazon then owned a 11.6-acre block for Penn Place. This part of HQ2 is currently set to be completed by 2025. If you know of Amazon's headquarters in Seattle, Washington, you might know of the spheres that opened up in 2018. These large domes consisted of forest gardens for both employees and the public to experience. Well, Amazon is doing something similar in Virginia. Called the Helix, this glass spiral building will be 350 feet in length. NBBJ states that the Helix will offer, quote, a variety of alternative work environments for Amazon employees amidst lush gardens and flourishing trees native to the region, unquote. There will be two pathways that will spiral up the outside of the building. The Helix will also include indoor gardens, an artist-in-residence scheme, and a 1,500-person capacity meeting center. The public will be able to visit the Helix during select weekends every month. While the building's design is meant to be a double Helix, some critics have stated it looks more like a certain emoji. With the ever-increasing expansion of Amazon, back in 2017, the company sent out a call to action. They announced they were looking to create a second headquarters and asked for proposals from cities in North America. The cities had to meet certain requirements, such as having, quote, metropolitan areas with a population of over one million, unquote. At the time, Amazon stated they were looking to build a $5 billion campus in the selected area, as well as adding 50,000 high-paying jobs into the local economy. Amazon claimed that from 2010 to 2016, they believe they funneled $38 billion into Seattle's economy from their first headquarters. According to reports, over 230 proposals were sent in from across the continent. New Jersey sent in incentives for Amazon for $7 billion, while Maryland's proposal added $8.5 billion. 
By November 2018, Amazon selected two winners, North Virginia and New York City. They decided to split their project in half, with two $2.5 billion structures being created in each winner's region and 25,000 jobs being created in both sections. In return, Amazon would get financial incentives and tax breaks. For Arlington County, they would receive up to $800 million, while for Queens, up to a reported $3 billion. Amazon also announced that they would create the Operations Center of Excellence in Nashville, Tennessee, at the cost of $230 million, with the company expected to bring in $1 billion into the area over the next 10 years. However, New York citizens weren't completely happy with the decision. Many politicians and the general public fiercely opposed the creation of the site in their city. Many felt that the massive incentives for Amazon should be spent on such areas as the transport system. Due to the outcry, Amazon pulled out of the deal, instead focusing on creating the campus in Virginia. Amazon ruled out opening up the competition again for a new second site to go along with Virginia. Instead, they moved ahead with only the $2.5 billion campus in the state. On top of Penn Place, HQ2 will consist of Metropolitan Park. This area has been designed by ZGF Architects. Known as the first phase of the project, this section will consist of two 22-story office buildings. These buildings will contain around 2.1 million square feet of office space and a further 67,000 square feet of ground floor retail space with a daycare center and restaurants. Like Penn Place, the buildings at Metropolitan Park will also be promoting sustainability. As such, they will also have an LEED Platinum certification and receive renewable energy from the Virginia Solar Farm. The design for the first phase will also benefit bike riders. There will be protected bike lanes as well as bike rooms that can store up to 500 bicycles at a time. There's also about two acres of open public space for locals to wander in. Demolition started in the area in 2020, and Metropolitan Park is currently set to open in 2023. In the meantime, as of April 2021, around 1,600 Amazon HQ2 employees are currently based in nearby existing office buildings being leased to the company from JBG Smith. During 2020, news broke that Amazon splashed out on a 6.2-acre site in Pentagon City to be used for Metropolitan Park. They purchased the site from JBG Smith for $154.95 million. As part of the deal, Amazon provided the Arlington County authorities with $20 million toward their affordable housing fund. Amazon also had to spend a further $14 million in building out and maintaining the green space around Metropolitan Park. Final fact finish! One of the most expensive construction projects of all time was the Zelyava Air Base. Located on the border of Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina, the military base was operated by the former Yugoslavia. It was destroyed in 1992. Construction was completed in 1968 for a reported $6 billion. Today, that would have been $46.4 billion. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.